Uh, last week we talked about for sale by owner, how to win for sale by owner listings. So continuing on, on that, uh, I wanted to expand a little bit and go over expired listings and the five ways that you can win real estate expired listings and how to do that. So the question to you is, uh, would you like to list expired homes and, and adding a new revenue stream to your real estate business? I hope you do because this is a very nice niche if you were able to implement it in your marketing campaign. So today, as I said, we're going to talk about the five ways to list expired listings. And ideally, each of these five strategies should be part of a larger uh, campaign. In my experience and uh, what I've seen, the real estate agent who stays in content, uh, they're persistent, they follow up, it's relevant and performs more than, than one step, usually wins the expiry list. So as a new agent going after expiries, I, I will get the listing because I mail information, I call, I pursue them longer than everyone else. In other words, I showed up and I put in the work required. So it wasn't because I was the best. I wasn't, I was new, but I won the listing because I was persistent and I stay relevant. So my recommendation is to build these five strategies that we're gonna discuss into a campaign that has multiple steps and will last for a while with a burst in the very beginning. And maybe applying three, I would say three to four steps within the first week, and then more steps over uh, a few months uh, time period if you, don't, if you don't list yet. So when listings, and, and you gotta keep that in mind, when listings first expire, they're the, they're most likely to list quickly. So after the initial hot period, you can spread out the rest of the campaign over time. Some people, remember that, some people may not respond to one method, but when you combine all the strategies and you put them all together, that's when the power of a good listing campaign comes into place. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the five different ways that we can list expires. And for that, let's start with number one. Um, Steve, just say something just to make sure I haven't lost you guys yet and you still, I'm still connected. Yes, we're, we're still here with you, yep. Awesome, all right, so let's start with number one, mailing out a custom letter. Mailing out a custom letter, number one. Now, I've written a lot of different letters with a direct response copy for expires. One thing that I've learned is when you write that initial letter to expires, you need to speak to their pain points and address them directly. You have to mention the struggle that they've gone through trying to sell the home and, and failing. Most people who have failed to sell their homes are frustrated, right? And for many different reasons. So speaking to their pain points and highlighting what you can do differently from other agents is going to help you, especially help you stand out from everyone else is going after them as well. So that is number one, sending out a custom letter. Number two, I call it to the, the chalk and awe package. And that's something that I will send. So number two, send the chalk and awe package. Now, what is that? Now, note that steps one and two can and should, as often as possible, be combined together. Again, as a new agent, I used to create this thing. It, it's, a, it's a chalk and awe package that I call, and it will have all this stuff bundled up together, stuff like uh, flyers, brochures, um, anything that I could attract the seller's attention. For example, in one case, I had uh, recently sold a home in a flood zone uh, down the road from this particular home. And, and I sent out a written letter talking about the other home and sharing the news of that recent sale and how that home was also in a flood zone and what I did specifically to sell that home. So in addition, I even put in the same package that I sent, I even put a listing agreement. So I built a little bit more confidence and, and I sent it out with them. I mean, I knew that the home was vacant, so they, they had already relocated. So long story short, I won the listing, but I won the listing because I sent out extra information. I try to be extra helpful. And because I had another house that I saw in the area, it was easier for me to put that uh, chalk and all package. So I, this is something that I'll recommend number two, and you have to think outside the box here and 
put something together, build your own chalk and all package that you can send to expire listings. Now let's go talk about number three. And that is, and I mentioned last week also, and of course, silver owner, something that you can try, which is a tool. And that is a ringless voicemail. Definitely try a ringless voicemail if you haven't done one yet. So the, instead of calling people, interrupting them at home or work, or maybe going over a script or, or stumbling around your planned script or getting rejected, one way to get around that is to drop a voicemail in their inbox and never ring their phone numbers. So that's called a ringless voicemail. Now you can create a voicemail that speaks to their pain points and or speak to their pains and talk about what you can do differently than anyone else and record it like it's real. This is a good way of getting their attention as well. Now, there are a lot of services out there that provide this type of um, tool and, and services, but just keep something in mind that ringless voicemails aren't allowed in every state. So this is especially for those of you that um that are watching this and you see this video in particular in, in YouTube or Facebook, if you're watching us from other parts of the world or the parts of the state, they're not allowed in every state. So be sure to check your state specific laws before signing up for one of these services. We want you to succeed and not have any, any trouble, but definitely uh, ringless voicemail is a great tool to implement and automate. It will save you a lot of time. Number four, text messages. Text messages to break the ice. This is something I really like using the text message. Now you can text them so many different uh, things to start the conversation, to break the ice and to build rapport with them. Then get on the phone and talk to them. Start with, with something simple, friendly, like asking how their weekend was and whether they sold their home yet or, or not. I mean, text message now day, it's a simple, effective, and you're not putting pressure on anybody. You're just sending a text. Now they can reply whenever they feel comfortable. But it's a great way to break the ice. And number five and last one will be to make the call. Now, cold calling. Cold calling, which is at the end for a reason of, of this strategy list. Most people don't like it. They hate it. And I'm sure you don't like it either. That's why I wouldn't lead with it. So expires get flooded all the time with calls. And it's hard to separate yourself from everyone else when you're making those phone calls as well. So if you start with the letter and you create your own chalk and all package and you use systems like the ringless voicemail system and, and you send a text message, by the time you make the call, it's no longer considered a cold call. It's more like a warm call. They're already kind of like they already know you in one way or another because they already receive information prior to getting on a call with you. So consider that for, for a change. And you can start the conversation super simple. You can start by saying something like, hey, it's the, the my name is Dalan Ruido with Broker Nation Real Estate. Is, is this a residence or the Smith's residence? I sent you a package earlier uh, this week. Did you get it by any chance? Something like that. It's, it's more friendly than going over a, 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 a pre-written script that you can, you know, attack them. So instead of doing a cold call, now they have this information. So it's just a follow-up call rather. So now how do you combine all these five strategies? So as I mentioned earlier, me personally, I, I like to start with mailing items and follow up with text messages and doing the voicemails. And then the last thing I would do is the call. Now you can mix it up however you like. You do a, a little bit of everything and, and drag it out in, I would say two to three months. But the truth is that it really comes down to who you are, your personality, and, and the unique superpower that you use to get home sold. Yes, superpowers. You all have superpowers. And talking about unique powers, put that in your letters. Whatever that power is, whatever that defines who you are, your uniqueness, put it in letters, use it to your advantage, build a good campaign, structure it out, structure it out over, over a few months, reach out to the seller early and often, and then stay in touch with them as often as you can. 
showing up with, with when everyone else is the, disappears. You're going to earn the respect. And when, when you go that route, you're going to win. Most importantly, you will win expired real estate listings. And that's the whole goal here. How can you be more relevant? How can you do things a little bit different? And how can you stand out from the competition? So follow the steps. And when you're working with expires, if you haven't done uh, work with expires before. So again, number one, mail out a custom letter. Number two, send down the chalk and all package, which you can create your own. And that again includes flyers, brochures, any information that you can provide. You're being awesome. And at the same time, you're providing or what I would do it. I would provide also the listing agreement so they can get familiar with it. And perhaps it's an also an opportunity to explain what that is and how it works, although they know that already since they listed. Number three, try a ring, a ring list voicemail. Number four, text messages. And lastly, make that connection by a phone call. So that is Real Estate Friday, my friends. I hope you find that really interesting. Again, you can combine the for sale by owner um, training that we did last week and the expires, put that together and build a strong, well put um, campaign together that you can reach out and get more listings. And that's the goal, isn't it? So again, I hope you found that very interesting and helpful. You can get more information like this if you download the free ebook version of um, of my book, which you can find in dailandruido.com. So uh, Steve, I think is putting in, in the chat right now. So feel free to download it if you haven't done so already. So do you have any questions about this type of strategies? Do you have any, any of the strategies that I mentioned that you like the most? Have you tried any of this? And would you like to comment on it? So please feel free to you know give us a feedback. Want to make sure that it's working. If you're using any of them, it's working out to you. Uh, Ray, what do you think about and some of the strategies? No, I like them. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to pay attention with my kids running around. Uh, but uh, I do like, you know, what you were talking about, breaking the ice. And I liked how you uh, sent them a copy of the listing agreement. Um, that way they can get familiar with it and start seeing some of the details. And that might answer a lot of the questions that they may have uh, already once they look at that. So you're kind of uh, beating them to the punch and you're putting your cards out on the table and like this is what we're doing and you know you can take it to the next step yeah man absolutely steve what do you think about the the voicemail drops uh or ringless voicemails do we have a system right now that we can potentially use at least with our with our sphere of influence You know, we do uh, with Broker Nation, you get a, a part as part of our, our um, brokerage, you get Happy Grasshopper system, which includes some copywriting, emailing, texting, and voiceless, uh, mail, voiceless, um, ringless, I should say, voicemail drops. This is the hot new thing that a lot of marketers are talking about because the phone doesn't ring. Like you said, you're not bothering people and you kind of slide into their voicemail through the back door there. So this is something that um, we are now offering all of our agents here at Broker Nation. If you're interested in learning more about uh, joining Broker Nation, I put a link in the chat for, uh, oops, I put the wrong, the wrong link in there, but I'm putting a link in the chat for our join site, joinbrokernation.net. So check us out at joinbrokernation.net. And um, if you wanna learn more about Happy Grasshopper, you know, we'd provide to our agents with the ringless voicemails and other follow-up systems like that. Um, hit up Daylon, um, myself, or Ray. Um, we're always available for questions. Excellent. So the point, the point here, and that's why we break it down in different steps, is because once you can combine them if you want, or you can use one. I mean, you just have to test what works best for you what's your superpower and how you can combine it with your type of strategy, uh, marketing strategy, and just go out there and do it. Uh, the results won't happen unless you put in the work. First of all, show up, put in the work, and then you see that magic will start happening. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. The market is super high. There's a lot of buyers, but we're lacking sellers. So any effort that we put out is going to help you, not just now to solve the, the situation that we have right now, but in the long in the long term as well, because as this market would changes, which it will change, 
guess what? You have the upper hand. You're the one with the listings. You're the one with the product. So start putting the work now and you'll see how things will change for you. So for sale by owners expires, that's a long hanging fruit is there for the taking use it. And I hope you guys, you know, put this into practice and succeed. And, and please feel free to share your, your testimonials. If you are putting any of this stuff to work, let us know. Just want to just want to be able to share those testimonials with other agents that are perhaps are struggling and they want to learn more how to do it. Just want to make sure that you guys are using it as well. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for joining us today for Real Estate Friday. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday for Mindset Monday. And for that, please remember to go and register where, Steve? www.brokernation.events. I'm putting the uh, link in the chat again. That's uh, .events, Daylon, instead of .com, it's .events. So I post all of the latest updates on all of our events there. Make sure you bookmark that, go and check that out and register for the next events that we, we're putting on. And uh, I ask everyone to unmute. So be, be, sure, uh, be sure to unmute yourself and it's on gallery view. Everybody wave goodbye. And with that, have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday Bye, for Mindset you. Monday. Bye, thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye everyone. Happy Friday. Bye, happy Friday. Friday. Bye, Dave.